hello everyone in this tutorial we will learn how to use world development indicators package uh, it can help you to search and download data from over 40 databases hosted by the world bank including the world development indicators international debt statistics doing business human capital index and subnational poverty indicators. Uh, to do that, we we'll need to download the uh, uh, package called uh, VDI from uh, uh, R repository. Uh, we will need also another package called PLM Panel Linear modeling just to, to to save data or data frame as a panel data to use it for modelization so to download this package just go to the packages after that install and write VDA WDI world development indicators for me I already downloaded the packages so I don't need to re-download the other package called the PLM Panel Linear Modeling <coughs> so we start by charging the library just click uh, control enter to, down to, to charge packages Uh, in, uh, in this example I will download two variables first is uh, GDP per capita growth uh, the second pack the second variable called population growth and for two countries the uh, first country is Japan the second is Morocco so <coughs> Uh, the package use uses uh, a specific code for each country and a specific code for each variable and for that I will leave uh, an excel file containing the, all the codes that you need for example uh, for country Japan the uh, country code is a G GPN and for uh, Morocco is MIR and each and each variable has has its own has its own code. So uh, if you need any code or any variable just look out for this code. I will leave the I will leave the Excel file containing all the codes in the disk down in the description just remember if you want to download a specific variable for a specific country you just need to use the code not the variable use the code uh, of course you can download uh, the data from uh, the, the website of the world bank but the packages help you to organize them as a panel data so uh, no need to copy and paste the data and organize them as the panel data so that's the uh, that's the advantage of this uh, packet uh, in my example i just download i will download uh, uh, two variables for two country for the period uh, 2000 to 2020 uh, as you see in the code we have start equals 2000 and 2020 uh, to execute to run the code just uh, type in your keyboard control uh, plus enter 
to to run the code. So after the time after the data was downloaded, now we uh, we we can see the data. Just uh, type view download data to see the data that you have downloaded. As you see the data here organized as a panel data in the first no row you have the code of country the second you have the country third you have the year from 2000 to, to 2020 now the second step is to uh, to save data as a panel data for use it in modelization uh, to save to save the data as a panel data you you have to download the PLM packages as we have done in the in the beginning of this tutorial to create a panel data you need to specify two uh, two two variable separator the first is the cross sectional we have the cross-sectional data is separated by country and uh, the second dimension is year as we have from 2000 and to, to 2020 the advantage of air is that you can is that you can save data cross-sectional as a as a string variable not like stata stata you you, you need to, to to save data as a number like id one two three but in r you can save them as as you want string country morocco usa japan the next step is to rename the variable as you know that the code used by the package is uh, difficult to, to, to work with it so we will use the another code in the package that you can rename the code as you want you name the code as you want or the variable so just follow my steps I will leave this uh, PDF down in the description and you can read it after just help you uh, how to use the package how to update the data and how to rename, rename the data just read the pdf and you will understand all this all what we have done in this tutorial as you see in the code we have two method methods to to rename the, the variable or the countries especially the variable that we are that we will use it in the modelization part uh, for the first method is use the package VDA and for the second method is developed in the app. as you see now the variables We have changed the variable's name. Now moving to the final steps is to save data as a Air Data extension that will help Air Studio to identify your Air data sets to use it uh, in other modelization or in another project. Uh, and you can save data as a CSV or other format like Excel or, or text or as you see in, the, in this video we have saved the data so the, so the principle is simple if you need to download time series data it just don't just use for one country 
uh, for example, just work on the 